Steven Tyler has one of the most distinctive voices in music, but now we're kind of seeing a different side to this rock legend, yeah, aren't we? we? Are. I met up with Steven Tyler recently down in Nashville, where his new film, Out on a Limb, premiered. It's an inside look at a brand new sound from one of America's favorite rock stars. Five decades into his music career, Steven Tyler is having more fun than ever. A new documentary about him, Steven Tyler, Out on a Limb, opened this month at the Nashville Film Festival. Steven's one of the people in this industry that I really admire. Why was it important for you to document this part of your life? It's not really retirement, but it is a bit away from, you know, the brick a brack a firecracker sis boom ba of Aerosmith. Man, you know, one thing I've never done, country record. It's a great album. I li I've listened to it a couple times. But it's not, it's not traditional country. How would you characterize it? I wanted it to be outlaw country. I missed that mark. You think so? The thing about Aerosmith that I love is, is that, you know, I, I wrote Dream On, we played Train Kept a Roll, and the diversity was this and this and this, which made it really interesting. I did the same thing with this. I, I can't do it any other way. Remember, I grew up in the country. I was way into the Everly Brothers more than anything else. Janis Joplin. So I'm into that into that big time. It sounds like there might be another country album in you. You know, I'd like to write something with uh, some other folks, you know, like maybe Elton McCartney. I've already asked Paul. What do he say? He goes, well, you know, send me something if you got it. <laughs> I went, that's not what I mean. <laughs> it's a new stage in Tyler's career, inspired in part by new surroundings. In 2015, Tyler moved to America's music city, Nashville, Tennessee. What is it about this city that's so special? You know, the spiritual side of me wants to say so many great songs were written here, it's in the air. But it's more than that. The people that have written those songs live here. They write with people like me, and they do three sessions a day. And the Ryman, you know, there's not many places in America that are like that. Hallowed ground. It really is. The Ryman Auditorium, the original home of the Grand Ole Opry, is Nashville's most storied stage. And it's where Tyler performs with the Loving Mary Band in Out on a Limb. This looks nothing like Aerosmith. <laughs> well, Joe Perry once had hair like that. <laughs> What's it been like working with this guy? Oh my God, a dream come true. Yeah. Unbelievable. It he's, doesn't get better. Yeah, he's the most magnetic person I've ever been around. I think I did three songs with Loving Mary on this album. The rest of them were walking in a room with guys that say, after five cups of coffee, you know, we get to know each other for about an hour. But usually with a band, me and Joe Perry or Tom Hamilton, we wrote Sweet Emotion, Back in the Saddle. Uh, it, it's a family thing. But these guys were all strange. Which is even more motivation for Tyler to be as hungry as ever. Whoever you are is coming out of that sound system. So it's you every night. And we always had something to prove. But you don't have anything left to prove, but do you? you say that because I have a rock single and everyone knows me for this and this. You've lived like 12 lives. You're like Forrest Gump. That's like the so Forrest Gump okay. of rock and roll. See what I mean? So you go, dude, are you 70? And I go, you know. How old are you in your mind? I'm 30. That's the thing. The stage gives me my youth. The people that I look at in the audience that are still crying over songs, they give me a piece of their life. I give them a piece of mine. That's insane. To walk in a room and change somebody's, you know, change them? What a gift. What a gift. You know, it's, it's wild yeah. because, I mean, Stephen Tyler's been around for, mm -hmm. you know, Ever. for decades. Yeah. He is still as passionate now about the making of his music yeah. as he was in the 70s, and it really comes through when you're talking to him. Absolutely. Uh, by tell. the way, that that's film, Stephen Tyler, Out on a Limb, is now available on demand and digital HD. If he had a, a reality show, yeah. I'd watch. In a minute. Oh, yeah, he's in, so in, fascinating. In yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.